You know, everything starts from, from a seed, everything. Probably around three o'clock in the morning, my father would be up. He worked in the woods. He cut what they call paper wood. I would go pick cotton in the morning time. Our family home had two rooms, two beds, four chairs, kerosene lamps, no running water. We lived on beans and rice and, and uh, corns and th the things that we grew in our gardens. And my mom, when, when we would purchase groceries, there would, the flour came in 25 pound bags and she would save the, the, the flour bags and she would make our clothes from those. The little empty containers that the cream that they bought for, to go in the coffee, when they emptied out those cans, we would take them and fill them with sand and put a wire through there and we made our own little pull toys. Played many a day with a piece of stove wood wrapped in a piece of cloth for a doll. I was probably maybe seven or eight years old. Never been outside of this community. I had moved away from the community, but when I came back, I wanted to reactivate my life. I thought, what can I do? What can, where can I make a difference? None of the kids had had any exposure. They'd never even been to see Mobile or to a, an antebellum home. Through some help from town and the churches that I knew in town, they would give me uniforms and I, we put together a, a little girl scout troop. They were all little Indian girl scout troop here. And, and out of that seed that was planted in those little girls so many years ago, every single one of these little girls now are leaders in this community. No matter where you are, in the, your state of life, there are always opportunities that come your way. It's your choice to take that choice and to make a better person. This community, to me, it was the foundation of who I am today. It gave me the value that I have today. I know that I have touched this community. I know that I have.